Hi, welcome back. Doing some more mech warrior. Um, we just got Coyote and his cicadas. So I'm probably going to be piloting Howler a little bit. And I'm thinking of going up into Steiner territory. Working my rep up with them. Since Davion's maxed out. And, uh, the more allies you have, the more likelihood you're going to get faction assistance for missions, so it'll just make everything easier. I think for this playthrough, my enemies are probably going to be Lau and Kirita. Uh, I don't want to do, like, difficulty 100, so we're going to go up a little farther and see if we can... Hopefully lands on slightly smaller rep level. So yesterday, I put in a poll on Patreon for, like, what people think of the difficulty of my mod if I should be toned down a little bit. The reasoning is I don't really want a lot of... What's the word for it? Um... difference between the vanilla missions and my missions. I don't want it to be like, you know, oh, it's a coyote mission, so this is going to be hard. I, I It kind of invalidates some missions because the people who want a challenge are going to stay away from vanilla. I don't want to be inadvertently removing content by making my missions the only missions that you ever want to go on, you know? Or, you know, on the flip side, vanilla missions are doable, but coyote missions are too hard. So we can't do any coyote missions, you know, it goes both ways. And I don't really, that's not the goal here. So I'm just trying to see what people think. I might try and put like an easy mode into my mod. It'll take a long time to do that. It might take like a whole month because I have to basically recode every single mission to to be changed in accordance to that that option it'll be tough but i think like you know for the sake of keeping everything balanced it might be a good decision i don't know i'm just kind of weighing my options Four mission operation. Battleground, battleground, battlefield, scorch earth. <laughs> kind of fun. Bunch of action. And then finishing off with, you know, demolition. We could give it a try. I don't think we have the mechs to do a four mission op unless we do a really good job. So we'll see. I'm actually going to, uh,. Take an airstrike for that last mission. 36 salvage is also okay. But if we come across something real good, we'll have to probably tear it apart to be able to actually salvage it. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your visibility. So I'll be running in the Howler. What mech do we want to give Coyote? Well... The Hellbringer has a lot of weapon systems. Coyote does really good with lasers. So maybe. Either that or the Black Knight. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. Hellbringer might be better. It's... It's faster. Coyote makes good use of maneuverability because he goes for cover and stuff like that. So, might just keep him in the Hellbringer. We do need to find him a mech with jump jets. <sighs> now that I started recording and I'm talking more, um, kind of noticing my, my voice is a little fucked. Still... So, we'll see how this goes. 
If it starts really hurting or something, I might just, you know, turn this into another no comments area. Alright, so what are we dealing with? Okay, most bad guys are over here in a bit of a furball. Which is not really ideal for a hit and run mech. It gives them a lot of opportunity to have their friends retaliate. They're already shooting at me. Taking a lot of front CT shots, even though I've got my side pointed. That's the thing with the cicada though, it's pretty easy to hit in the CT it seems. Okay, we want to start off with a bag. Get this rifle in. Kinda missed. Good enough. Black Knight's kind of fucked. How did that happen? Man, he's really messed up. Messed up more than I am. Alright. Mr. Black Knight, you should hold fire. I think we're all gonna go for that repair bay. Uh, well, well, well. I don't know about that now. Timberwolf. Bunch of crazy mechs over here, huh? Get him while he's looking at me. Oh man, do you see what I see over there on the left? Friendly unit securing Nav Alpha. Perfect! <laughs> oh. Well, I'm successfully pissing that Timberwolf off. That's what the uh, top speed is good for right there. Alright, might be able to go repair now. I'm actually going to have everybody hold fire. I gotta get that Black Knight repaired. I might kill this Vulture first. Alright, you guys go towards that union. No sense in taking unnecessary damage. Which I think they're doing. Hang on. Yeah, that Warhawk is a little damaged. Alright, I want back in my mech. I don't know, I'm not really liking that Warhawk. It hasn't been too impressive yet, in my opinion. Perhaps we could put, like, a different loadout on it or something to make it more useful. But... It ain't really doing it for me currently. Alright, 
first mission success. Got out of here with minor damage. Pretty fucking cool. Now, depending on RNG, though, this second mission might be, uh, you know, kind of nuts. Sometimes the enemies have the uh, repair base taken over. Enemy Union might land, too. Now, we gotta keep in mind that we can save Salvage. I do want that Vulture, but... Hmm. Yep. We're gonna take it. Looks good to me. Take some of the weapon systems too. Rough. Okay, hang on. Do we really need these weapons? I think we got a better LRM-20 I picked up. Like I said, I do want to save some shares. So we'll take the 4 pip, but I think that's good. Yeah, Coyote did pretty good in that. Not a bunch of kills, but he didn't take that much damage, so worked out are we going to bring the warhawk on the second one yeah sure as long as you know I'm not really too concerned if it gets blown up it gets fucking blown up but as long as I keep track of it we could put it in the repair bays maybe So, we're probably good. <sighs> Allies have a low morale. Oh, shit. So, if too many of them die and not enough enemies die, um, in this case, they'll start ejecting and leave, and I'm going to be on my own. If that happens, this could be a potential mission abort. So we gotta be kinda quick. Their morale can recover, though. So, we'll give it a shot. I'll go after the mechs up here on the hill. Have my lance mates go for the ones down there. Bunch of them up here. I didn't think there would be this many. Almost blew his head off. Come on. Gotcha. All right, we're overheating a little bit. I am going to skedaddle. I think I'm going to make my way to the repair bay. Yes, sir. Moving in. Oh, should I kill that archer first? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to do that. Okay, you guys get up here. Have my lance mates move up to me. Whole bunch of enemies spawn kind of around their position. Fire on target. 
Oh man, Coyote is getting fucked. Gonna try and get him out of there. Oh, they are still going for him. They're going for me now. I'm still in decent shape though. My right fin's gonna get shot off, but that's not really that big of a deal. Alright, ally morale recovered. Alright, we are out of here. Hostile leopard? Oh, fuck. That's kinda terrible. That's not the mech I wanted to jump into. Target I do not want it above my dudes. I'm trying to have a move, but it's kind of following him. almost dead. Shant? Oh man. Well, we lost the Warhawk. That was pretty terrible. Still got all my SRMs though. And we just beat the mission. <laughs> Crazy. If I knew that the mission was almost over and there wasn't that many enemies on the map, what I should have done, now that I'm thinking about it and it's already over with, I should have just ran, led my blue allies, fight the leopard, got a bunch of distance, and then kind of just shot at it from a distance. But you know, I had no idea that it was that close to ending, so... Uh, what was the next mission? It was Battlefield, right? I think so. Uh, we can save up for that one. I think we're gonna take... the Kintara, though. Save five points. Because we might not... We might have to abort the next mission. We're in pretty rough shape thanks to that leopard. Kind of makes me think defeating a leopard should get you some sort of reward for sure. It shouldn't be like some really hard boss that you just have to kill. That might make people just want to abort the mission. So... If I can remember, I think for the next update, I'm going to make it drop some tier 5 weapons. Just a bunch of various shit, if you kill it. All right.
I could go back to the trusty Jav. Oh, uh, two of my people are injured. I don't think I've got replacements, do I? I've got one person. Hmm. Oh, just army of cicadas. Probably have been fine if I took Coyote, but these two people... I don't know. I don't have, like, a lot of faith in them. <laughs> We're going in here severely under tonnaged, so we'll see how it goes. No one here could really soak up any damage, so that's a bit of an issue, but we can always abort, so... In my opinion, aborting's a little too easy, but it is what it is. Uh, someone did make a mod. I forget who it was. Someone made a mod where you had to uh, actually go to a waypoint to evac. Was that Celestial? I forget who actually did that. No, I don't think it was Celestial. I am not good at remembering names. No offense to the mod. I think you're a really cool person. I just don't fucking remember your name. I do that for everybody. Like, people will ask me what my favorite bands are, and I just, like, forget what their names are, even though I just listened to them a few days ago. And I've been listening to them for years and years. I'm just fucking stupid sometimes, you know? The side effect of being shot in the head several years ago. I guess. To be honest, I, I've always had bad memory even before then. Alright, so let's see if we can move in. Use buildings as concealment and cover. And shoot these dudes in the back. Have my allies wait over there. Oh, that guy's close. All right, we'll just gang up on him then. Q. All right, you guys need to take his focus. Is he still trying to shoot me? Okay. Looks like I won't be able to get behind him. We'll just kind of take him apart from the front. Well, this ain't really going that great. Our blue cicada's already screwed. Really need to be killing them a lot more efficiently. So I'm gonna have the X5 move with me. I do have an airstrike. Not very good at... at laying them in on moving targets though, so I'm not really sure if that's gonna work. And we might want to save it to the very end anyway, when it gets progressively more difficult. All right, Phoenix Hawk, take the guns off of him. All right, he's dealt with. Nice work, guys. Nice fucking job. Additional bogies setting an intercept course on your position. 
I gotta watch my front CT armor. Try to actually look away from enemies as much as possible. I think the reason we're also doing pretty good is we got a stoner I know. Pretty good allies. Okay, you guys actually need to go that way. This might be a good candidate for an airstrike. So they're all the way to the back. Can't really get line of sight of where I want to lay it in. Relocated, Commander. Possibly there. Come on. Alright, we'll see. Alright, getting hits on him. Probably hit two of them. I would think. Didn't do too much, but every little bit helps, I suppose. Alright, they're gonna be on me now, I think. Right? Nope. Alright, I'll keep laying on into them until they look at me. You guys kill that dude. Yeah, nice headshot. It's nice to see two little light mags. Actually keep the X5. X5 is doing a really good job of minimizing damage. Whether it's because they're not really doing much or if they're piloting really good, who knows. Alright, you guys go for that Shadow Hawk. I'm gonna go for this Hellbringer back here. Not too concerned with a light mix. Here he goes. Almost got that arm. Like I said though, my CT's weak. So a fight like this, I don't wanna stay in very long. Maybe you guys can finish him off. Oh, right, wonderful. The leopard landing nearby is not ideal, but we don't have too far to go. Oh yeah. Don't know what I'm going to do for the last mission. What was the last mission demo? Yeah, it was, it was demo. Anything interesting? Yeah, kind of. Kind of, sort of. 
I don't imagine we're going to do much with the salvage on the next mission. Uh, maybe... We do something like that. Yeah. Mind the weather, Commander. It'll compromise your visibility. All right. Well... Not a lot of options here. I think we'll take the uh, the X5. We got chain fire on this, right? Yeah. So we'll take the X5 and we'll lay the airstrike. Hopefully it's not a huge fucking base. Hopefully the airstrike just eliminates it outright. That would be fucking great. So we're kind of just mm, relying on RNGesus to uh, not give us some fucked up crazy base. Even if we have to abort the... I think this has been pretty lucrative. Enemy forces have established a base somewhere in this area. Well, it's a full town garrison. So, it's definitely not like the smallest ones. Still might be easy to destroy with an airstrike, depending. Seeing smoke? Is that that downed aircraft? The uh, the fuck was it called? I forget its name. Oh no! It's a big base. I recognize that tower. This is not, this is gonna be fucking impossible, dude. Yeah, this ain't gonna work. Yeah, I hit the biggest point with the airstrike, but... Like, this, this kind of base is really fucking hard to destroy. Asking me to destroy it with one single mech like this is uh, asking a lot. I mean, if we could... If we can keep the buildings between me and like the enemy mechs and stuff like that, we might be able to do it. We're totally going to get all of our weapon systems blown off though. Now why did you have to go and shoot my shoulder? So am I. Is running these over too long? Not much. 
going for the shit that's kind of easier to destroy, the little buildings. I don't want to be stuck destroying walls. Oh man, I've got like no HP left on my back. I can't fit through that door. Alright, I'm calling it. Hurry up, Rihanna. Oh, you dumb bitch. Acting all surprised and shit. Um. Yeah, that that did count as me getting caught, even though I aborted. That kind of sucks. Yeah, there was no no getting out of that corner I was in. I guess I could have tried destroying the wall. Which I tried to, but it wasn't really working. But if I if I managed to destroy that wall piece, I might have been able to circle around the exterior of the base and shoot the base from the outside and blow up the walls. However, it's it's bound that a random turret sitting out there would have just shot me in the back or the front. I had no armor on both sides, so... Whatever, we still... Made out with a lot of money from that multi-mission. And go up to the hub. Got a bunch of little shit to repair. I don't understand, but we're in like a high rep zone and it wants me to kill javelins and locusts. What the fuck? Where am I going to find javelins and locusts game? At least it ain't telling me to go and destroy night stars. So there's that, I suppose. Uh, your eyes. A bunch of fucking bullshit I don't care about. Guess we should start repair on our mechs that we are going to be using some more. This X5 is cool. So I kind of want to repair it. The Howler and the, um, Blue are basically better, though. We're just gonna replace this with some random shit. We can't get some SRM half. Oh. Oh, yes, we can. What the fuck? There we go. And the Warhawk, uh, yeah, there's... <laughs> we could take the heatsink off. I guess we'll do that. Uh, do we want to rebuild this? What's missing? Hmm... Now, I don't know what Coyote was going through on that battleground mission when he got torn up on this thing, so... I don't know if this mech is actually that good or not. It was doing really good up to that point, so... Still needs to kind of prove itself to me, but we'll go ahead and rebuild it, because most of its weapon systems are still functioning. <laughs> if it lost a side with the, uh the BAP and stuff, then I wouldn't give two shits about it. I'd just sell the fucking thing. The stalker. 
You guys watched last episode, right? Like, this stalker got immediately destroyed when it went around that corner, when I went to go take the high reward position on the exploration quest. Like, this thing got just molested. And I don't really want to rebuild it after that because that was, that was such... <laughs> it, it was... Like, like, who's to say that's just going to fucking happen again, right? So, we need to find maybe a stalker that's better with missiles than this thing. I'm just going to hang on to it. We need some really good artillery mechs. The, the vulture here might be a good candidate for that. Vultures are fucking cool. As a matter of fact, I might pilot a vulture. This is one of my favorite mechs in uh, Mech Warrior 2 Mercs. I don't really know why you repair it. And it's over tonnage, it's kind of weird. What the fuck? What just happened? <laughs> Hang on, I don't want to break anything, but what the fuck just happened? So, if I right click the jump jet slot, it disappears. Okay. Mm. What? Um. Can someone explain to me what is going on? <laughs> I am eating its its hard points. <laughs> All I'm doing is right clicking, dude. I'm very confused. This looks normal though, so I'm wondering if like I'm wondering if the modders put in null objects as a way to stop people from using all of those uh, hard points. And uh, they didn't account for people right clicking on them or maybe it was just too hard to fix. That's, that's probably what's going on. So I don't really know where the other three tonnage is coming from. Makes it feel sort of like I'm uh, I'm getting cheated out of tonnage. So. I don't know. I guess we can just remove the pulse lasers and have regular lasers. I, I like the idea of, well, how about large pulse and then just like m medium lasers? Well, what kind of LRMs do we have? Can we just use 15s? I think so. Put the ammo in our feet. And, um, now that leaves us a little bit more. As for the medium slots, I think regular M lasers would be good. Or SBs, like that. Trying to see if I can get one more tonnage out of this thing for one more double. Like this. And that would be best. Oh, the knuckles. We don't want no stupid ass knuckles. 
Let's. There we go. I I didn't even fucking notice him this whole time. Crazy. Fucking crazy. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, do we want more LRM ammo? Yeah, probably. All right. This actually looks pretty good. You got your close range guns and your LRMs. This would be a good dueling mech. Upgrades. Still don't have any missile related stuff. So, this might just have to do. I don't know, I'm feeling pretty excited about the vulture. What other bullshit can we get into? Oh, yes, the hero mech. Alright, let's go see what's that. Also, if you guys just have random ideas for my mod, feel free to just comment down in the comments about it. I might not do them, I don't know, but like, it's it's always nice to just get people's ideas, because whether or not I, I go for that specific idea, it helps me think of other ideas, too. Stuff that's like related to it. Wow, look at that SRM capability. Holy fuck, dude. Why does this Hellbringer picture look so cool? I don't really know the difference between this one and the one I've got. It looks the same to me, but... Then again, all the royal variants of mechs look the same when you look at their stats. Hmm. See, my issue is that, yes, it would be able to kill an assault mech in one alpha strike from behind, but it moves at 64 kph. So, getting behind an assault makes a bit of an issue, and you don't want to just, like, face tank damage. Like, if this thing had a mask, if I was playing the YAML mod, it probably lets you put, like, a mask on it. Then it'd be fucking glorious. But in vanilla, not so much. It definitely has its drawbacks, plus it's 10 mils, so it's like, nah... I'd rather get some sort of spiffy cool assault mech to give my lance mates something that has a lot of survivability. We'll go check the weapons over here too. I would love to get tier 5 SRMs for Howler. They gotta be SRM4s though. Kinda rare to find. Yeah, not this person though. This person's got some shitty defensive skills. Offensively good though, but mm -mm, not my thing. So yeah, I'm pretty happy about that pilot. Uh, 
Do we want two vultures? Uh, kind of. <laughs> kind of, sort of. Like, it's very similar to the Centurion AL. You know, except better. Yeah, fuck this stupid thing. I'm kind of tempted. I'll think about it. I think it'll still be there when we come back. Uh, the weapons here suck. I'm running out of water. My voice is getting more and more hoarse as I talk. So. Let's see how long I've been recording for. Um, 52 minutes. So it's only, it's, it's about an hour. The other talking commentary episodes are going on for like an hour 15, so. Probably done doing missions. We're just gonna shop, fuck around with the mechs, and then I'll probably be done. Mostly because it's like I want to keep playing, but I just can't fucking talk no more. And I feel like the non-commentary episodes are probably boring to watch. Like, I know I would personally not watch shit like that unless it was directly related to my mod and my work. Don't know how you guys feel about it. Oh, shit. Yeah, we'll take that. LRM 15s, so we could throw those on the new uh, vulture we found over there. Yeah, we'll go pick up the other vulture, just because we found those missiles. of fucking scavengers. We've got coyotes and vultures. Hmm, fuck yes. Alright, same issue with the other one. Same treatment too, I guess. <laughs> so weird. I don't think we have any good large pulse to put on it. Right. Yeah, we do. Man, they're going to be like almost identical. That's pretty cool. Well, I don't remember exactly how I had the armor and stuff. I know the other one had another double. But... I think that's good enough. That's pretty close to the, how the other one was set up. Alright, cool! 
So we're going to have the two vultures in the back lobbing missiles. And I'll be running around spotting with a howler. Then I guess we could have something that sponges damage. For now, it'll probably be this guy or this guy. We really need some sort of really crazy assault mech at some point. We'll see what happens. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.